Hello folks and welcome to Cisco Baltic Edition. Today I want to talk about web-based click-to-video calling. And the reason for this is that I think web-based click-to-video calling has the potential of becoming really, really big. And I know there are many companies out there who can make a lot of money by enabling potential customers to make video calls to a customer care representative or a sales agent. But before we get into the details, let me first show you what it is I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. You are on a website or you're viewing a PowerPoint presentation or you receive an email. Within the content of this material, you can find buttons or icons that suggest that you can make a video call by clicking on them. And when you click on the button or icon, your browser will shoot up and after having checked your internet connection, you're able to make a video call. You hit call and you are able to have a normal video call with someone on the other side. Now, you might say that this feature has been around for ages and narrowly speaking, you would be correct. Some browsers have allowed you to make point-to-point -point video calls. This is absolutely correct. The thing that is different today though is that today all major browsers such as Chrome, Safari, Firefox and Internet Explorer all support this feature. And here's the best part. We moved away from simple point-to-point -point calling and today a web-based video call is handled like any other inbound standards-based video or phone call. Let me explain this in detail and in a way that would make sense from a practical perspective. Let's say you are running a business and you're selling a product or a solution that is kind of hard to sell without some sort of personal consultation. I mean, if you're in B2B, I'm, I'm sure you will recognize the situation. And we might be talking about an expensive professional camcorder, some sort of home automation system or some sort of technical consultancy service. Anyway, the bottom line is that the product or solution you're selling is something that a customer would normally not buy on a spur of the moment basis. Now, you might have a website where all your solutions are listed and described and that's great. But what if, what if you had a small button next to each solution and on that button it would say, I want to know more, click to make a video call. Would that help you? The thing that is unique this time around is the following. And there are a couple of reasons. One, as a customer you don't need to have software installed on your computer. It works within the browser. Second, as a customer you will have all the features of a good quality video call. HD quality, screen sharing, resizing a video screen, muting a microphone and shutting down your camera feed if needed. And as a business, you don't need to have a personal or a person dedicated to answering incoming video calls. In fact, you can create smart video call routing rules and route the incoming video call to a subject matter expert based on rules such as availability, language and so on. As a business, you can use your existing video conferencing endpoints, meaning great video quality and no need for additional hardware. So what do you actually need to get started? Well, let me start at the customer end. First, you need to have some sort of image that you can associate to a normal web link. As an example, an icon that you would insert into a, uh, an email newsletter, for example. Here's one example of that. Then, you turn this icon into a hyperlink using standard Outlook features. Now, if you have a website, you would most likely use a call button and make it active. And if you're doing banner advertising, you would define the hyperlink as the destination of that particular banner. I think you get the point. Now, let's examine the hyperlink. What it actually does is to instruct the browser to make a request to a web server and basically ask for permission to place a video call to a predefined number. The number can be seen here. If the web server permits the customer to make a call, the browser will ask for permission to install a small plugin and you will be able to make that call. By the way, don't worry about the plugin for now. As soon as the IETF are finished with their WebRTC standardization work, there's not going to be a need for plugins. I hope this is going to happen really, really soon. Now, once you hit the call button, the call control element, in this case the Cisco Unified Communications Manager, will route the video call to the number listed in the link. Now, this is the beauty. Because endpoints are registered on the Unified Communications Manager, you can route the call to virtually any endpoint within the network or and this is really important, the endpoint can also reside outside the physical location of the company, which means you can have video call center agents that follow the sun, allowing for 24-7 service if needed. From a commercial perspective, used correctly, this service should give you the following benefits. First, your reach increases exponentially as you will be able to get in touch with far, far more potential customers than before. 
You will also see an increased number of person-to-person -person interactions when you have video enabled. And if, if you are selling complicated things, you will see a dramatic increase of customers going from hmm, I like the product, but I don't really get it, to I like the product, I might buy one, and by the way, I like the person I dealt with over video. Folks, if you're in sales, you know what the implications are. Executed correctly, this would enable you to sell more, quicker, and done correctly, you will see more and happier faces on your customers. So where do you need to go to try it out? Well, hey, contact me and I'll help you get started. You can find my details here, 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 and here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.